What's going on people? Welcome back to another episode. I hope you're all doing well. I am in central London, currently in Piccadilly Circus, and it's Sunday. The time is 6.41am. I am online with Uber Eats, and this is going to be an early morning shift. I love to work early mornings, especially when I want to make 100 to 150 pound in a day. You've got to get out early morning. The boost multiplier right now is like 1.7 and 1.9 so if i get any jobs that come in they're going to be paying really really good because the multiplier is super high and in 20 minutes time i can go online with deliveroo because they operate from 7 a.m onwards yeah it's just very weird to see piccadilly this empty and a lot of you ask me why do i not work in central london and the main reason is is just how busy it is give it a couple of hours this place will be absolutely full with cars tourists and i don't i don't mind it when i'm not working but when i'm trying to work it is a nightmare and there's literally nowhere to park around here i've just parked a bit further up from this area here and i can already feel that i've got a parking ticket i probably haven't because it is still super early is that a parking warden oh my god i got here just in time they are given tickets it's quarter to seven on a sunday and you got parking wardens working london is just it's just on another level on another level i didn't even have time to put my glove on <laughs> oh there we go we got an order seven pound pickup is 0.3 miles away from wardour street what is this person doing come on go oh my god and i'm actually delivering a bacon and egg sandwich so it is a, a breakfast item cafe 101 i think it's called here it is 101 sandwich bar thank you how many mate hmm? mate this one uh 1.2 yeah seven pound yeah it's not bad yeah first order yeah yeah it's a good order right that was a nice simple pickup good to bump into another driver there it's seven pound for 1.1 mile isn't too bad to be honest when you come out at this time you have to get a little bit lucky but it is good to get out because if you do get those orders that are paying seven eight nine pound by the time it reaches 10 11 a.m you're already on like well hopefully 30 or 40 pounds so you get a really nice head start to the day i think i have i think i have got out a little bit too early but it's just nice to explore london when it's this empty because you very rarely see it like this Lucas is it electric, fully electric yeah yeah first one man thank you, very much. Thank you. have a good day yeah and that's the first one completed I'm not sure what time this multiplier is until I think it yeah it's seven so from 7, which is in 1 minute, it's going down to 1.8, which is still really good. I think I'm going to stay in central London for a little bit. I want to I wanna give it a chance. With it being Sunday and this early, I might, I might just enjoy it, you know? I might enjoy it. So whilst I'm on my way to another location, I thought I'd just tell you about the rodeo giveaway. They're running a competition, the Muck competition. And it's based on McDonald's orders and they're giving away two prizes of £50 each. The first prize for £50 is to guess how many orders a driver can do in one week. And the second £50 prize is to the person that completes the most McDonald's orders between the 16th and 22nd. It can be on any platform that operates in McDonald's. Just the Deliveroo and Uber Eats and if you haven't got Rodeo and you don't know what Rodeo is, Rodeo is an app for us delivery riders. It helps us track our earnings, helps us look for the best places to work. There's also a feed on there so you can speak to other drivers and it's a good way of connecting with other delivery riders around the country. They've got thousands and thousands of users now and for me it is the number one essential app to have. And just like that a Deliveroo order is coming in. Let me pull over here. Is it a nice one or is it a crap one? Shake Shack. Burgers and Shakes. 
That is a super close drop, paying £5.07. pence. Curbside pickup is now required due to government guidelines. Da -da 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 -da. I think they need to update their rider note. Alright, a 7am Shake Shack order. I don't know if they sell breakfast items. Maybe someone fancies a burger. Shake Shack, here we go. It don't even look like it's open, but the lights are on, so it might be. Yes, completely shut. So that might be an order that was from last night. There we go. There's an order there from Pret. When this happens, if you get to the restaurant and it's closed, you can fill in a form and you get like £3 back, I think it is. I think it's around £3. And I haven't got a coffee in this Pret order, which is really good. So no risk of spilling any drinks or anything like that. Wow, I've never seen Regent Street so empty. This is so weird. Even during the pandemic, I never I never came up into central London. It probably was a lot more emptier than this. America. Yeah, mate. I've got 270D8. 10 minutes. Okay, I'll wait around anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah no worries. Yeah, I'll wait around for this one. Because like I said, it isn't, it isn't busy right now. So I don't mind waiting. I know I've just walked out of a coffee shop, but I did buy this yesterday. Arctic coffee. I love this stuff. I'm just going to chill out here and wait for this order. I am online with Deliveroo, so if a Deliveroo order comes in, I probably will just leave. Hey, there we go. I think my order is ready now. Alright, this one is 1.2 miles away. Still keeps me in the area. Sorry about the way they didn't have one of the items. Thank you. Have a good day. All right, so that Uber order's done. I've just got another Pret order picking up from the same one that I just did. So let's go and get it. Honestly, listening to Bob Marley in the morning is such a vibe. I've had Bob Marley playing since 5 a.m. Just puts you in such a good mood. 6712. Cheers, ma'am. Hopefully I don't spill this coffee. I completely forgot about the coffee situation, but it looks like it isn't going too far. So I think we'll be good. Famous last words, eh? Please, please do not let this be a spillage. I'm just gonna check before I take it into the customer. Are we good? Yes, no spillages. Look at the size of these houses. It's quite a wealthy neighborhood around here. And these houses cost an absolute fortune. Hi there. You're welcome. Cheers. Wow, what a beautiful house. Let me see how I'm doing so far. Uber, £13.35. And Deliveroo, £7.8. £20, hour and a half. It's okay. It could be better. But now is the time that it's going to start picking up a little bit. Because, obviously, people are going to start waking up. The time has just hit 8am. Yeah, I'll bring you back when the next one comes in. Oh god, just got a McDonald's order come in. I haven't picked up from McDonald's in absolutely ages. It's been so long, I can't actually remember the last time that I picked up from McDonald's. I said it before and I'll say it again. Life moves pretty fast. You don't stop and look around once in a while, you could miss it. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Cheers. There's another order, £7.41. I'm still in sort of central London in Knightsbridge area. And this one is uh, picking up from Paddington. Really, if you're working at this time of the day, you want to pick up any orders that come in before 9am. Doesn't matter how much they're paying. You can't really be picky when it comes to orders uh, this early in the day. There's two cappuccinos in this order. I'm worried. Hi, uh, you're right. I got a uh, 9421 delivery. Thank you. Cheers. Looks like they cling film the coffees, which is good. This one's going up into Belgravia, an area that I'm very unfamiliar with. All right, now fingers crossed, none of these coffees have spilt. Have they spilt? No, they're good. 
Thank you. Take care. A delivery hot order, six pounds thirty-two. Beautiful. Damn, this is a big order. Oh, here he is. I knew you changed your bike. I saw you yesterday. I saw you. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Just starting now. Seven. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but, but like, I think is my last Sunday starting at seven. Yeah, I started at six. <laughs> In, in this side? No, I was in Piccadilly. Mm. It was okay though, it was quite, some orders £7, £8. The thing is, starting early, like 7 on Saturday and Sunday. Lo lots of orders from yesterday. Yeah, yeah, I had uh, I had uh, Shake Shack, it was closed. Uh, my first order was a chicken chop, of course, from yesterday. And today, a weird uh, one from Starbucks. I went there, showed the number, they didn't add the order on their tablets. But they, they were like, okay, we're gonna do it. While I was on my way to the customer, they hadn't signed me to the job. And I didn't get paid. Oh, thank you. Cheers, man. Thank you. Catch you soon, bro. <laughs> Lovely jubbly. 2.5 miles. Let's go. Westy on Productions. Hello, hi there, it's Deliveroo. I'm uh, just outside. I rang the buzzer but no one answered. Yes, uh, can you give me one minute? I'm in the corner. Hello, man. Hi, you're right. <laughs> Thank you. You two. Starting to warm up a little bit now. I don't know why it was so cold this morning. It's currently four degrees. So it looks like it is getting a little bit colder. It wasn't bad for the last couple of weeks. It was quite warm. I am going to be back out on the e-bike very soon. And if you want to see those e-bike videos, then uh, smash that like button. Let's get this video to... I'm going to be optimistic and say 2,000 likes. And I'll get out there on the e-bike. It's just a lot more comfortable on the new, especially when it's cold. Oh, what happened there? Crashed into the bus stop. How the hell did he manage that? There we go, there's another order. It's not delivery hop. So another restaurant, £7.59. So it's a nice paying order. Still online with Uber. It's gone very, very quiet. I haven't had any requests or anything like that for quite some time now. And it looks like I'm just picking up some tri triple XL chips. I don't know what that is, but <laughs> we'll see. Hiya. Uh, 819. Thank you. Cheers. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Seven minutes that delivery took me. Quite fast, eh? Works out a pound a minute. Seven pound for seven minutes. Nice, nice, nice. This Uber's completely dead. It's because they don't stop onboarding people. They just keep onboarding, keep onboarding. And there's so many people with Uber accounts now. Whereas Deliveroo just eats Stuart, they sort of cap how many people can sign up. Well, not how many people can sign up. You can still sign up with Deliveroo and, and uh, Just Eat, but you won't be able to deliver because there's no space. There's another order, Deliveroo Hop, £5.98. It's going up towards Victoria. Oh, sorry mate. Cheers. Cheers man. Three miles for this delivery. Heading up into Victoria. Let's go get it done. Oh, I can't wait to have some breakfast myself. I'm absolutely starving. I haven't eaten nothing since 5am. I've only had a couple of sips of that iced coffee. It isn't doing me any good. I'm going to go get a massive breakfast after this. Hi, delivery. Hello. Here we are. You're welcome. Take care. Bye bye. Alright, and peeps, so I'm going to finish up the episode there. The time is quarter to 11. 
I want to get home, put the bike on charge, charge up the GoPro batteries and charge myself up with some food because I haven't eaten nothing. I'm absolutely starving. In total, on Uber Eats, I made £16.71 and on Deliveroo, I made £34.38. That comes out at £51.09, which is about £11.34 an hour. I'm going to pop up the rodeo screenshot here of all of the stats for this morning shift. I'm hoping to make another £60 in the evening, which I think will be very possible. If you're not following me on Instagram, head over to my Instagram, which is at London Eats 10. I post a lot of stuff on there when I'm not making content. If you want to follow my delivery journey, I post a lot of stuff on there. And if you've got any questions, I'll be uh, more than happy to answer them. I hope you've enjoyed this one, people. If you have, please leave a like on this video. Leave all your comments down below. I read every single one, and I'll try and reply to all of you, but it is pretty hard. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new here. I appreciate you all, and I look forward to bringing you another episode very soon. Take care, people. Peace.